Welcome to our daily rosary meditation. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's call to mind all those we've promised to pray for. The middle of Lent is a good time to think about the reality of what the Church calls the last things. Death, our particular judgment, purgatory, hell, the end of the world, the last judgment, and the new heavens and the new earth. So, Teresa, spring is about ready to come, so let's reflect on death. This life is a preparation for the next one. And there's a certain sense in which you can tell how well you're doing based on your attitude to death. If your hope is set on union with God, well, then death will be the fulfillment of your hopes. But if your hopes are set on things of this world, well, then death means the end of those things, in which case death will be the terrible disappointment of all your hopes. John of the Cross writes, The soul does not fear death when she loves, rather she desires it. Yet sinners are always fearful of death. They foresee that death will take everything away and bring them all evils. Since sinners love the life of this world intensely and have very little love for that of the other world, they have an intense, therefore, fear of death. But the soul that loves God lives more in the next life than in this and takes little account of this temporal life. So ultimately, Death is not a bad thing. In fact, because of what Christ has done, Christian death is a very positive thing. As St. Paul said, For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. And the great Teresa wrote, I want to see God, and in order to see him, I must die. And finally, the little Therese wrote, I am not dying. I am entering life. I love this passage from the great classic, The Imitation of Christ, where we read, Every action of yours, every thought, should be those of one who expects to die before the day is out. Death would have no great terrors for you if you had a quiet conscience. Then why not keep clear of sin instead of running away from death. If you aren't fit to face death today, it's very unlikely you will be tomorrow. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The Catechism teaches that death puts an end to human life as the time open to either accepting or rejecting the divine grace shown to us in Christ. And the Catechism tells us each person receives his eternal reward or punishment in his immortal soul at the very moment of his death in a particular judgment that refers his life to Christ. So, the very first thing we will experience after death is our particular judgment. And this will result in one of three things happening, either entrance into the blessedness of heaven for those who have been transformed by union with Christ, or a process of purification in purgatory after which they will experience the joy of heaven, or immediate and everlasting damnation. But by what standard will we be judged? Both Scripture and the Catechism tell us that immediately after death, we will be rewarded according to our works and our faith, not only by what we believed, but by how we lived. John of the Cross sums it up when he says, At the evening of life, we shall be judged on our love. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall it be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Now we should understand our particular judgment not so much 
as a courtroom scene with God sitting in judgment, but rather as God giving us exactly what we wanted throughout our lives. I think C.S. Lewis in his book, The Last Battle from the Chronicles of Narnia, gives us a very insightful image of our particular judgment. He, did, he writes it this way. Aslan, the lion who represents Christ, comes to judge all the creatures of Narnia. Behind Aslan stand all the stars, so that Aslan's huge black shadow streamed away to his left. As the creatures came rushing on, they came right up to Aslan and looked him straight in the face. Then one of two things happened. When some looked, the expression of their faces changed terribly. For some, it was fear and hatred. They did not find in Aslan what they were looking for, what they wanted. So they swerved to his left and disappeared into the black shadow of hell. But the others looked in the face of Aslan and loved him. They found in Aslan what they always wanted. And all these swerved to his right into the light of heaven. If at death the soul has spent its life seeking and loving God, then it gets what it wanted, union with God in heaven. But on the other hand, if a soul has spent its life in selfishness, choosing itself over and against God and neighbor, then at death it too gets what it wanted, itself and nothing more. And that is the definition of hell, to be alone with yourself forever, because that is the only thing you loved. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Okay, the idea of being stuck with myself forever literally scares the hell out of me. But there is an in fallible means to staying 
on track to transform in union with God. Now, you're not going to believe me when I tell you, but it is the infallible means, according to Teresa of Avila. And it's very simply daily mental prayer and a resolution. Because look at what we do in mental prayer. We choose over everything else, friendship with Jesus and to spend time with him, saying to him, I want you above everything else. And then we make a habit of that. So we make the whole of our life a habit where our priority is wanting to spend time with Jesus. Secondly, in mental prayer, we think about and reflect on the life of Jesus and his teachings. And then we apply them to our lives and we ask ourselves, am I living this or not? And if I'm not living it, then a conviction grows in me to change something. And that leads to my resolution. My resolution is this is what I'm concretely going to change today so that I live what Jesus teaches. Now, tell me, what would happen to a person who did daily mental prayer and had a resolution every day for three months? They'd become a better person. How about a year? They'd become an even better person. How about for five years? Wow, they'd really change. What if they did that every day for the rest of their life? They'd become a saint. That's why it's the infallible means. So let's not make this complicated. Just do daily mental prayer and a resolution. And you won't have to fear your particular judgment. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. One of the best preparations for death and our particular judgment is a daily examination of conscience and to go to confession once a month. Take two minutes every day. Look back over your last 24 hours. Examine your life honestly. What did I do or say or fail to do? that I should have. And then ask yourself the question, why did I do that? What was the root? Was it pride, envy, 
vanity, sloth, anger, greed, gluttony, lust. Why? And actually, a while back, not long ago, we did two meditations, examination of conscience part one and part two going through these. Use these for your daily examine. And then once a month, go to confession. The Catechism reminds us that in the Sacrament of Reconciliation, the sinner, placing himself before the merciful judgment of God, anticipates in a certain way the judgment to which he will be subjected at the end of his earthly life. For it is now, in this life, that we are offered the choice between life and death. And it is only by the road of conversion that we can enter the kingdom from which one is excluded by grave sin. In converting to Christ through penance and faith, the sinner passes from death to life and does not come into judgment. So, confession is kind of like a dress rehearsal for our particular judgment. You know, Teresa, I have this idea hmm. that I'm going to make a good confession, have a massive heart attack and die, and there'll be, I'll be standing in line before the judgment seat of God, and he'll kind of peek around the line and he'll say, sure, Slick, we just did this. Go on in. Mm. You know, that'd be a terrifying thing for me to hear from my father, except I feel like I've heard you say that a million times, so I, I hope you get... I hope you get what you want there. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, isn't that the purpose of the, the last rites? Exactly. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. St. Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God, May God rebuke, rebuke him, we humbly pray. pray. And, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, Teresa, there's a difference between last rites and confession. You know, I haven't had a, a lot of personal experience of the latter. I mean, the former. <laughs> <laughs> which, which one did you say first? Obviously, you understand the sacrament of reconciliation. Yes. 
but last rites is a combination of uh, the forgiveness of sins as well as the sacrament of anointing. Mm. See, I think the sacrament of anointing is one that I don't fully understand. But last rites often is accompanied by viaticum if a person is able to receive communion mm -hmm. uh, and the apostolic pardon. So as loved ones are getting close to death, one of the best things that we can do for them is to help ensure that they can receive mm -hmm. the last rites. So remember that for me. I know you always said that you wanted to get a big tattoo that said DNR across your chest, but should we maybe just resuscitate you for last rites? That's true. And then we'll put you back on the street where we found you. So maybe I should get a uh, tattoo on my chest that said, I want the last rites. Yes, that would be a much better tattoo. That's a good one. Next time I'm in Jerusalem, I'll do that. <laughs> Let's be apostles of friendship, good conversation, and the rosary. Share this with others. If you like this, join us on our app. You'll find the link below.